Officer Han, I told you. I get it, okay? Be respectful. I got it. I put my jacket on a thousand times, I took it off a thousand times, okay? This is stupid. I'm done. Check it on. Mr. Han, I already... Check it on. Check it on. I don't have a jacket Check on. Check it on. He's strong. Check it on. Firm. Check it off. Remember, always strong. Check it off! <laughs> <laughs> As in life, you have a goal you set out for yourself, that is your final destination. In order to reach that goal, you need to have a step-by-step -step plan for yourself. If your equation or plan doesn't follow through, you might head the wrong direction and never reach your destination. So you go back into the equation of your life see what part of your life you messed up on, learn and grow from it. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. It's not about the final answer, it's about the walk you show. In life, if you run across a difficult problem, something you do not quite understand, you are able to translate that situation into something where you can find the resolution to. In order to be persuasive in life, in order to win any sort of debate, you need to be able to back up what you want to prove. Gym isn't about just lifting weight. It isn't about teaching you how to lift a bubble off the ground and put it back on. It's about the skills that you enforce while you do it. It's about the skills that are transferable to life. If you can be successful in the gym and with your body, you can be sure you can be successful in your life. The people who try to get in shape or say, I guess I will get in shape, will most likely fail. If you want to lose weight and level up your life, you need to attack it with 100% of your heart and mind. Giving it a shot for a week or two isn't going to get you results. And thinking about it, only half of the time isn't going to get you where you want to be either. This journey needs to become part of who you are. Mentally, you're focused. You have a specific goals in mind that you want to accomplish. And then you set out to do them. Whether it's lose 50 pounds and or run a marathon, you must recognize the fact that every day is an opportunity for you to get one step closer. You are not on a diet, instead you are making conscious decisions every day to eat healthier food and follow a plan that you can stick for a lifetime. You are training with a conviction, half hassing it on a treadmill while texting on the phone does not count as a workout. When exercising, be focused and efficient. If you pushed hard enough, there should be sweat dripping off of you by the time you're done. Good time management and a solid balance of work and fun is crucial to your happiness. Find a way to incorrupt a healthy lifestyle into what you are, but not at the expense of who you are. So, you're getting outlifted at the gym. Suck it up! Remember how much you lifted and how many times you lifted it. And then, next time, make sure you either lift more weight or the same amount of or more repetition. So, you only lost one pound this week while your gym body lost five pounds. Suck it up! Remember that you still lost weight and continue to find ways to level up your life and the success will follow. If you're making progress, that's all that matters. No matter how big, slow or weak you are compared to those around you, it really only matters if you're getting healthier, faster and stronger compared to the you from yesterday. Mr. Miyagi said it best. 
It's over. Forget about it. No. It's okay. It's okay. You want to go home? You're not. Must not. It's okay. Lose to opponent. Must not lose to fear. Yo, yeah, well, I'm afraid. Oi, oi. I'm afraid of him. All right. Oi, oi, oi. 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 Courage is not being fearless, but rather carrying on the perform the action despite being afraid. Unless it's going to actually kill you, sometimes you just have to get out of your head, turn off your brain and go for it. <laughs>